This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Damn, I look good. Welcome back to Fight Night as we continue part two of our tribute to the 2020-21 United States Men's Boxing Olympic Team. Up next is the team's super heavyweight, Richard Torres Jr. After getting a bye in the first round, he dispatched Shawaibi Baludidat to make the quarterfinals. There he would face a familiar foe, Cuba's Daniel Pedro. The two had met in the Pan Am Games back in 2019 where Torres dropped a tough decision. For some dumb reason, the fight was never recorded by NBC, so I'll just go ahead and share the good news that Torres beat Perro to move on to the medal rounds with Keyshawn Davis and Duke Reagan. Since we don't have any footage of Richard's fight with Perro, we'll be taking a look at the fight that got him to the fight with Perro back in 2019. In the first round of the Pan American Games, Richard turned on Luis Munoz of Peru. Since they just gave away that this was the fight that sent him to face Perro, we already know he won. So let's see how he won, shall we? Ding ding round one. Yeah, remember I said Torres had a little bit of baby fat back then? Yeah. Well, this is a much slower paced fight than I thought it was going to be. He's holding him, you're not supposed to hold. Yeah, this Peru guy is definitely slow at plotting. And Torres is much quicker. The other guy's standing flat footed. And Torres just waiting for the body shots. Fifty eight seconds left of round one. Yeah, Torres. Oh, Torres is. Uh, all right, standing eight count. Yep. Yeah, he took a flush to the jaw. The crowd's chanting for uh, Munoz. King King, get around. Time to fight. Yeah, see, the other guy's so slow that Tor Torres is just throwing. Ha, 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 ha. 
Look, he keeps looking at the referee. Well, Torres gets him into the corner. He's unloading, and he gets tied up. Oh, that big left. He keeps looking at the referee. Uh, Torres is dominated this fight. We got a minute, le minute and a half left. Well, he's landing at will. All right, 10 seconds left on the round. Right, one round to go. And Torres is just, Torres has landed like three shots to one. I don't know how the other guy's still on his feet. Yeah. Oh, Torres is rocking him and rolling him. And he tied up out of instinct. Two minutes left. One minute, 13 seconds left. Yeah, the other guy spent. No, I give credit. I give credit to the Peruvian fighter. He he stayed on his feet. He looked like he was going to go down about three different times, and he stayed on his feet. And he's a tough kid. 
Yeah, Torres definitely won this fight. That was a hell of an effort from both of them. Torres was just a little bit quicker, a little bit better. Torres wins it. All right, good win by Torres. It's too bad he couldn't beat Pero in the next round of the Pan Am Games. Still, he beat him when it counted in the Olympics, and the U.S. will officially have three medal winners. More than 2008, 12, 16 did in their individual years, and as many combined. Hopefully this will be the spark the U.S. amateur scene and needed to get back on track. So that about does it for this edition of Fight Night. I will see you next time.